Hey guys, um, it's Father's Day, June 19th, 2022. I got a no cooling call for a repeat customer. It's not at his house. I've, I put a unit on his house, but this is his rental. The condenser's not coming on. Hopefully we can get some film on this for y'all. Friday I had a ton of no cooling calls, but I got some pieces of film, but all, all of the customers were helicopters. And there's just, I couldn't have put together a good video because I had one little piece on this one, a little piece on that one. Y'all wouldn't have even understood what was going on. So hopefully this one will not be a helicopter and we can get some, some, some film on it. But, and I just wanted to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. So we'll, uh, like I said, I hope we can get some film. Let's see. see all the grass look at that nice and plugged up contactors pulled in but we ain't getting anything Let's see if we got power coming to this contactor I'd have a bad contactor No power. No power coming to the contactor. All right, let me get in here. All right, so the condenser fan motor's running. When I popped the dead, the disconnect in wrong. When I put it in, the unit tried to start but it tripped the breaker, which is around the corner. So I unplugged. I, I, I wasn't getting any continuity to ground, but I unplugged the compressor and now it's running. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna pull the disconnect and we're gonna plug the compressor back in and see if it trips the breaker again. If it does, there's something wrong inside that compressor, even though we're not reading continuity to ground. Let's see what it's got. I'll let y'all see it, because it tries to start for a split second and then it trips the breaker. Yep, it tripped the breaker again. I'll show y'all. Breaker box is outside. It's this one right here. You can see how it's tripped in the middle. So if we go to off and back on, and we're gonna unplug the compressor again. Now look, just cause your meter doesn't show continuity to ground. Let me see if I can, okay, watch this. I'm gonna unplug it. And I have my meter on tone. Y'all can hear the meter. Nothing. I'll try to go here. Nothing. 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 Now let's read ohms to ground. We're not even getting ohms to ground. But something is wrong with this compressor. One point seven, two point nine, one point three. That one's all over the place. So now watch when we put the disconnect back in. It'll run. See? It runs with the compressor unplugged. So all that dirtiness is probably what killed it. I don't know if this thing's under warranty or not, but 
and check the uh, capacitor, make sure it's good. Sometimes a bad capacitor can do that, but I'll check it. But I doubt it. Capacitor is a 45 plus 10. If we go from that orange, which is common, to Herm. Forty-five capacitor is good, and it's got a brand new hard start on it. So we'll either be swapping out a condensing unit over here, or changing a compressor and cleaning it if it's under warranty. I don't know why I pulled that one common off. I wasn't thinking. Let me check the age on this thing. Drop the screws at 2012. There ain't gonna be no warranty left on this machine. We'll just have to swap out the condenser. I mean, I'll double check it, but I very seriously doubt that warranty left. All right, let me keep clean up my stuff. There's nothing I can do for him today. All right, guys. So that job's been approved already uh, for a condenser swap out tomorrow morning. Uh, I sent the I sent the landlord, which is the homeowner, pictures because that was a rental. I, I've picked up a lot of people that have rentals, which I love because I got their main house and then I do all their rentals. And uh, I've done work for this guy before, and he really likes me. And um, he's given me the approval to swap out the condenser. We're going to just swap the condenser. It's a 410A ream air handler. Same air handler with that we're putting in today. Same style. It's It looks to be in good shape. It's clean. It's not rusted out. So we're just going to swap the condenser. And I can guarantee you, y'all saw the grass and y'all saw that coil. There's no telling how long that unit's been like that. And that's what got the compressor. And I know some of you are going to say, you know, well, you know, you weren't showing no continuity to ground, but sometimes a regular meter will not pick up continuity to ground. What I need to get me is a mega ohm meter. Um, I used to have one, an amp probe. I got an old video, but I think I left it at one of the shops I used to work at when I first moved to Lafayette. So that thing's long gone. And, um, but I need to get me a mega ohm meter for stuff like that. But when you when 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 the breaker trips every time you apply power with the compressor plugged in and you unplug the compressor and apply power and the unit runs, that's a dead giveaway that the compress there there's something shorted out inside that compressor and our meter's just not picking it up. So I've seen that a thousand times. I mean, tomorrow we'll swap out the condenser unit and I guarantee you she'll fire right up. We checked the capacitor, the capacitor was good. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope all the fathers out there had a wonderful, happy Father's Day. And I also wanna clear something up about the last video. I've been getting some comments about, do I not like Mexican people? Uh, sorry, guy just was gonna back right into me. Anyway, I've been getting some comments about do I not like Mexican people because I made a comment about a Mexican capacitor. Guys, that's just, I mean, y'all need to grow up. I love Mexican people. I don't have nothing against them. I was just making a point that a lot of the capacitors that I used to install were Mexican made. I will not install a Chinese capacitor. Depending on where I buy my Mars or Jard capacitors, they're either going to be USA or Mexican. And I've actually had good luck with the Mexican capacitors. So anyway, I just wanted to clear that up. I just drove up at home. I'm going inside and relax for the rest of the day before another long day tomorrow. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.